Hello, this is just a uh, sort of introduction to fun things you can do with to use and get secure strings like passwords and PowerShell. Um, just wanted to kind of start off with a few of the basics here. Um, in case you're not super familiar with PowerShell already. Um, so to get input generally we can just do a read host and use the optional prompt to enter a password for example okay and then what we get is this and you can put this of course in a ps1 script or anything else you would normally do with a password and then there you go right there plain text just like that easy to read now and easy to read back out. So obviously not very secure, not hard to hide really from anybody walking by or looking over his shoulder or running the script later. Just not really a great way to do it. Um, it is good that you can easily pass that into basically any application or additional script or uh, WMI remote queries for example. Some of them sometimes don't really like secure passwords so you've got to do this. Um, Let's see, another thing that we can do is we can do essentially the same thing where we do this, but we do it as a secure string. Okay, and now my easy password is masked, so at least people looking over the shoulder can't really read it. And if we try to echo it straight back out, we get that. Um, and really the hard thing at this point is getting something useful out of it if for some reason what you're doing doesn't take a secure password. Um, so what we can do instead is we can use get credential and you can just type in yeah we'll do Adam here okay, and a password okay there we go and now we've got uh, Adam is spelled and system secure security dot secure string so again we're kind of where we were a minute ago we've got a secure string we've got a username we've got a full credential package to some extent um, but we can also do things in scripts or other things to make it even better we can take uh, my new cred equals um, and we'll do actually we'll get back to that here in a second um, if you have not used this yet, um, definitely, definitely very useful. Um, for example, we can do environment computer name. Yay! We can do environment username. There we go. Um, we can also do really, really cool and fun stuff like uh, my cred. And we'll do. Uh, let's see, we'll do it this way. You could eventually. Yeah. And we're going to do a backslash there and. There we go. And now what we're going to see here is that we have the get credential window pre populated, except for what did I do wrong? Oh, got to type the full variable name. All right, here we go. So there we go. We've got the computer name and the username pre-populated. And then I can just do, oh, my password. Okay. So now we've got that stored in my cred. And we can do username. Uh, we can also do password. Okay, so we can only kind of do it. We can get this system dot security dot secure string. But another thing we can do is do this. Okay, to get the actual password back in case we do have to use it for whatever reason. And then we just do password. And there we go. So now we've got the my password. Now again, where this comes in handy is you may sometimes have those sets. 
this isn't a real command by the way set computer name okay where we need to pass credential some commands you can just flat out send a variable like that um, other times however what you will have to do is send something like Okay, so we're getting close, and we could do something like that. So we can call variables either with the full credential token, or you can pass in individual attributes for applications that require in that format. Some of them will also require in the opposite order, where you have to pass in the password as the first variable as of the credential, and the username as the second part of the credential. Um, but this is an easy way to work with them and it's especially useful in something like a PowerShell script where people will use it and possibly have somebody looking over their shoulder so you want it to at the very least be masked preferably actually be secure um, but using the git credential with the env system environment variables or the built-in PowerShell variables you can actually pipe stuff in take it out and kind of use it in a way that's a little bit more elegant um, especially maybe if you're going with wind forms and PowerShell. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks.